Hi everyone, we're going to talk about why you should own a steel if you don't already own one. Basically there's a lot of reasons, but the reason that you would buy a steel is one, they have a rich history. Steel gets its name from its founder, Andreas Stiel, is actually how, you, how the Germans pronounce it. He's a German man. He is the creator of the chainsaw. He's credited with inventing the chainsaw. Now his first saw was an electric saw, and it took two men to operate. Uh, he grew the business, started to be a multi-country business, and then he handed it to his son. His son was Hans Peter, and for a long time he was referred to as Mr. Steel. I remember that my father traveled to the United States in the early 30s to sell his products overseas. And now the company is owned by his son, Han Peter's son, Nicholas Steele. All of these men, Mr. Steele's, were all doctors of engineering, all with a high pedigree of manufacturing. The company today is still owned by the Steele family, and their only concern is quality. So you know nowadays all you ever hear is they don't build it like they used to. Well the steel still build it like they used to. Their goal is not to build something that costs less but to build something that performs better and we truly see that in their products. In the 70s steel built their first American manufacturing plant in Virginia Beach and they started getting into the landscaping world. They started building hedge trimmers and blowers and string trimmers and edgers. Uh, they also have a plant in Brazil. They also have one in Austria. And they, as of 2008, they have one in China. Today, all of the plants compete internally to win the bid. And the American plant is the most technologically advanced, has the most robotics, and wins most of the bids to build the new product. So if you're in a steel dealership in America, most of the products you'll encounter are made in America. They're made in Virginia entirely. Steel is the only chainsaw that makes their own bar and chains. And they're, they're very proud of that as well. Next to me are two really cool saws. Actually, these came in running when we traded them in for new saws just because we wanted to have some collectibles. We haven't really been able to date these saws. We believe this one's a 70s model, but you can see just below here, it says made in West Germany, which means it's prior to 1989. And we think this is an 80s model. This one says made in Virginia Beach. When someone's buying a really nice saw for their home, I say, this is an heirloom saw. And I say that because all the time, young people will bring in a steel chainsaw that their grandfather gave them that still runs. So it, it kind of still applies. So one thing that's different about steel is that they are only a dealer product. Unlike every other product in the industry, you buy it at a big box store, you buy it on Amazon, you get it in a box, you take your box home, you unpack it, 95% chance that product is made in China. Most of the time, those other products are built for 30 hours of total runtime, total life. In two years, you end up throwing it away. Versus a steel product, it's made in Virginia. It's sold through a dealership only, where you're met with a knowledgeable salesman who walks you through all the products and puts you in the right product for your needs. And then after that, we take you outside and we gas the product. We crank it. We're the final line of quality control to make sure that that product runs as it's supposed to. We show you how to safely operate it and we tell you how to maintain the product before you leave. If you're buying on our website, which still strictly prohibits selling online via third party, we would be delivering the product to your house and going over everything with you there as if you had bought it at the store. Steel products are not allowed to be shipped via UPS or Amazon or anybody. They do not want you to receive a product without any instruction, without any testing. There's been a lot of American manufacturing companies such as McCullough, or Poland, or Troy Bill, that were known for quality products. And what you've seen with these brands is they've moved into the big box stores and the mass merchants and they have been super concerned with hitting a price point of $199 or whatever it may be. In order to hit their price point, they 
move their manufacturing offshore and you watch the quality of their product decline. What steel has done is, has chosen another path and not followed all the other brands that have followed the big box mass merchant uh, approach. So steel has diverged from the rest of the herd and gone against the grain and carved their own path through the independent dealer and they have become the number one selling outdoor power tool in America. Another thing that's cool is everything from steel has an excellent warranty so we're the retailer but we're also the warranty center. In the case you do have a problem we're part of the community. You come back here, you drop it off with us, we read your serial number, we know who you are, we know your product, we check it in, we have the parts to repair it, problem solved. In addition to that, we only work on steel product. So in our shop, we have two techs in Winter Garden and all they do is repair steel equipment all day long, 300 days a year. And our parts room is entirely dedicated to steel. We can look up any machine you can imagine and any part on that machine and we can get you that part same day while you're here. That is why you want to own a steel product. Buy some of the big box, have it one, two years, buy a steel product from a local dealer, built in Virginia, buy a family business, and possibly hand it down to your kids. Alright guys, that's all I'm going to rant about for now. Hope you enjoyed our video. Have a great day.